Hello you guys, it's your boy Andy Gian here and now we are back with more uh, Pokemon Reborn, that is correct, this is part 2 that you guys are seeing and this one is just full of story, just story, um, no battling whatsoever, um, it's pretty much an hour long but hey, you know, this is content for you guys and, and, I'm and I hope you guys enjoy it so let's get straight into the video. We have like we it's only been 30 minutes, so we're just gonna continue. Whoa. Oh. There's a shard. Okay, I don't know what's coming up next, to be honest. Hmm. This is interesting, to be honest. Like, honestly, I don't know what, what to make of, of this. Wait, is it- does it lead with two paths? Honestly, this game's story is so mind- mind-boggling. Okay. Okay. It who Station Master here, we have got your boarding passes. Another one for Reborn City, huh? They sure have been pushing that new league. Just between you, me, and the old batter fence post, I hear Reborn City's kind of a dump. With anyone would want to go there is beyond me, and yet a bunch of you ambitious trainer type folks have been heading out in droves. But off you go, train leaves any minute. What? Yo, what's going on? What the? Am? Yo, it's the it's the trainers that that you could pick from the beginning. They're yeah, they're dead. So you're Andrea, I'm Julie, captain of the cheer and pep and all things buddy and bright. Oh, pop quiz, are you going to take on the... Yeah? Correct, that's the only way that you could ever do anyway. I'll be looking forward to your challenge, so go on and get down to the grand hall already. What? What is going on? I, I, I can't, I can't even make up... Yeah. Hey, are you Andrew? I'm Kiki. It's a pleasure to meet you, but everything's okay. I heard something happen at the station. Well, you're here, so I guess you're all right. I'm ex ex that I bring you in the salvation too. Don't worry, it shouldn't take long. Let's go inside. What is Yo I, I I can't I don't know what's going on. To be honest. Are we in some third dimensional world? Kinda like how how we were in the distortion world? Is it something like this? Uh I can't even switch out Gadgeel anymore because Gadge already served this purpose. I thought shift gear would raise like well then again it'd be completely broken, but but the, but iron defense actually helped though. Not gonna lie. It's the Pokemon here. There's no will to fight. What is going on? There's DJ Khaled. Oh. 
what the guys i i i'm on i'm honestly lost for words to be honest like i don't know what's going on do i have to go back it looks like i have to go back hey you're cute you come around here often huh just kidding Man, Andrew, I'm so glad to see you. I mean, I thought I had the stars in my eyes, but I guess it was just you. But but really, I've been wandering around here for a while, and I was starting to get worried. I have no idea how I got here, so what's going on? But what do you say we stick together until we figure out what's in this place? Then again, there's only one path, so I guess that won't be hard. Come on, let's go. What is... Like, I'm... It's Julia. Hi, Andrea. Welcome to the super duper ultra hyper uh, boom time house of cheers. Just uh, ignore all the superior. I need more banners and streamers and ways to cover up the pressing revelation the best of the years I already have behind. But now everything's at really decline. Wait, is that a safety hazard? Oh, who cares? Anyways, I don't think I'll go easy on you just because you're the, uh, the one. As a former captain, cheerleader, depends on me. Ultimates, we present, we pack. And, all right. All right. So I'm, so I'm wired. So let's... And there's Fern. Andrea, a little birdie told me that you were coming to challenge my sister, but you're not, you know, they're the challenger. You're not good enough. Not. Wow, I, I actually remember all this from the very beginning, since January. I guess I could just go back then. Was oh yeah, this is the this. Is the... She's not speaking. Please notice. Yo, how long is this? To be honest, that was Corey for falling. Wait, what? Cal and Shelly? Oh, Cal hit her. Oh, Cal hit her. There's Cal. Oh, Cal. Like, what Cal was, and now he's Blake. Oh, there's Blake. Is this, like, what we remembered and everybody else's memories? Like, I just don't understand what is going on. Oh, that's Blake hitting, a uh, Cal. Yeah, that's Blake hitting Cal. Oh, dumbass brother. And there's Shelly. Okay. Oh, what are you doing, you stupid creep? Let me go. See, but the girls completely held a, a hold her down. Oh yeah, I remember that too. Good. Begin treatment at 100 volts. Heather, you'll never get away with this, you dirty old man. Make that 110. Bind her as well. Now, Heather, just hold still. You might feel a little shocked. What is what is all this supposed to mean? Oh, it was you. Your light shines brightest in the darkness after all. So make sure you never ever stop shining no matter what happens. I know it's a little backwards, but just hang in there, okay? She should open a path for you. Unless, hey Andrea, if two stars fall passing like ships in the night, do you think they would wish upon each other? It would happen, then which would win? Maybe we just have to chase them to the horizon to find out. Wait, is this... E Wait, who is that? Who is that? Is that Luna? 
I think that's Luna. Yeah, that has to be Luna. Oh, jeez, there you are. It's really you this time, right? I lost, I lost you before, but I've been some really stuff down here. Either I saw the vision of you, but I think it was from the past. You didn't see even me. It was pretty cold, but I thought we were going to stick together. Listen, listen, I keep feeling like there's something just behind me, so just really stay close with me this time. Let's go slow together. Um... Oh, I thought something sh sparkled. Let me save. Because, because, like, I don't know what's coming up, to be honest. Is that Sophia? Oh, it's Kiki. Welcome once and more. I return to the strike in perfect more value with a fury that my soul may offer. Uh, defeat the inner chaos. Did you really think I only talk about Zen of the Mind? I could be set at death zero and I will still end up. Whoa! Oh. oh, yo, yo, that jump scared me. Whoa, that jump scared me. How is it fair that I have to be the one to go? How is it fair that my body has to be the one killing itself? I didn't ask for this. Do you think I was satisfied? Do you think I didn't have dreams? Do you think I was single? I was a single goddamn thing about staying calm? Defeat the inner chaos? I am made of chaos, and there's nothing I can do about that. Unless these whiny self-absorbed children whose greatest problem is with uh, what their effing hair looks like. They have no idea what it's like to wake up one day and suddenly hear that despise everything they have ever thought sought with their life. Despise giving themselves to others every other step of the way. Despise serving a family that communicate mainly in drugs and violence. Despise having climbed over all of that all of that crap of life just to make one goddamn oasis of scenery in this effing ballistic, ballistic world. The only reward you get is death. Death. Tear my stomach open. Pick out my intestines. Grind them into the dirt. My body would do it all of its own anyway. The only thing that I taught was mercy. But no one should teach that to me. Okay, now it's getting a little bit more sinister now. Uh... Wait, is that... Yeah, that's, uh, Kane and, uh... I f I forgot her name. Uh, their parents. Oh, it's Aya. Please stop fighting. Please come back. I'll clean my room. I won't complain anymore. I'll do anything just to please love each other again. Okay, okay. Uh... There's, okay, so there's, uh, the, mo the mother and the father talking to Aya while Kane is over there. Are we learning about their past? Everyone else is watching. Kane just ran away with uh, leaving Aya, so you finally left too, uh, too. I know I'm a toxic person, but you could at least say bye first, but I guess that's just what I deserve. There's Cory and then whoever these people are. Oh, it really just was you, isn't it? This place is running me in a bit rag, and I'm not in a good way. If, if I keep seeing things about you, probably you just seen some things about me too. To be honest, I'd rather just forget about most of that stuff. Well, obviously that's why I ran away. <laughs> But even then, the only places I ever ran was in circles. I guess it's hard to do anything else when you don't know where to go. Hey, Andrea, do you know what you want to do in the future? Like, after this is all over? Of course! Yeah, I'm not too surprised. So many people seem like they just cut out and sat on whatever it is. They just want to do it, but I never was like that. The thing is that, if he asked me that in a real-life perspective, like, way before way, be way before 2020 hit, I would have said no, to be honest. But, but now I know what to do. 
Aha, I can barely settle on a romantic partner, even with how much joke and flirt about that stuff. It's just a way of keeping my, uh, my, myself safe from uh, commitments and disappointment. If those are even any different, who knows? Maybe one day I could find somewhere I can actually feel like I belong. Place or person, either way. But I gotten to know that I'm the problem, not them. Even if they don't, even if they do nothing wrong, I still can feel the same way as I stay. But hey, everyone's a little bit broken, right? And some people's pieces just don't fit together. No matter how much lotion, well, never mind. You can go, you can go ahead this time. Sticking together never works out, anyways. And maybe just time I'll stop running. Is that really Kane? I think I got something to get to do. But don't be afraid to call me up later. So that is so. Okay, so so this is Kane. Oh wait, that has to be Heather or Luna. We meet again. I have no intention of ex extending to you the same mercy as when we last met. I am here to reclaim what has been stolen. Lizzie, li Lizzie, Lizzie. I'll do what I must do for your sake. Wait, is that his wife? Oh, wait a minute. Are we in a world that we're learning everyone's past? Of what... This is great! We get to know what happened off screen! It shows the events of what led to their personalities and how we adventured them so much and all the people we talked to. Okay. Bless that feral woman and bless her husband twice. His three cares nothing for hopeless romanticism. He is naive as I've been. For neither does history care for its own study. I only needed to recover the scars I crave, not even my own. But I understand now. Reality accepts nothing less than full commitment and sacrifice. Those wi those unwilling to choose that path has chosen for them. Then there's only one road left to walk. Iconic. Perhaps this loss was just what I needed to glimpse the way. That's Lynn. <laughs> Oh my god. How funny. You thought you were strong together, and you are now. Let this be a lesson. Numbers do not help. Friends do not help. Nothing ever helps. No one ever helps. No one ever 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 helps. There's Cory and her, I guess, wife? Or Heather? That has to be Heather. Oh god, yo, that looks creepy as hell. It's, uh, it's, it's L. Whoa. And there's Randomus with Luna. Uh. Um, okay. I guess that suggests that Randomus didn't want her at first. But Luna persists, and then they and then they just started a relationship. Once upon a time, belt of meteor swept across the universe. But one day, uh, one of those little meteors decided she wanted to go further than any any others ever had. So she kicked up the trail, re revived her space dust, and off she went, sailing far, far away across the galaxy, further than all of her best friends, further than all her loving friend family. Further than any meteor has ever known it was possible to even go. And when she was very, very tired, flying so far away, she found a little planet she liked and she thought that she would finally rest. So that Lydia meteor started to descend to the planet's surface, but that was the planet's atmosphere was so hot and so thick, and the little meteor was so exhausted from flying, with so many millions and millions of moons across the space, that she burnt right up in the sky and do you know what happened all the people that planet looked up and they said and they said look a shooting star let me make a wish and so everyone on that little planet which has secretly uh since since the start of his life wished and wished and wished and wished with all their might and those people smiled and knew hope they they had never known before and felt happy and by the time it would have come to the surface there was nothing of the little meteor left at all it all poofed vanished 
And even though it disappeared from the world forever, do you know what that little meteor did? It lived happily ever after. And the joy that it brought the hearts it touched and smiles and inspire in the final moments as a shooting star. So even with its last itty bitty of life, it never ever regretted it had done even once. So make sure to smile for me, okay? Randomus, you could have been a meteorite instead. Oh, Randomus and, and Routes. Oh, is oh is Gossip God of War? Wait. Oh, and Curlia, and then and then God of War. Yeah. Random. Oh wow, the the like li all the uh, all the outfits that Randomus w w wars. Did he have, wait? Did he ever wear that? Okay, Randomus, come on. Don't be like that. <laughs> You dress up Ash? Or re Wait, what? Who? Okay. Yo, this is freaky. It's like it's like you're in a nightmare. Or a dream, or whichever one it comes. And then there's the family. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this Bennett, some guy blocking for Luna, and L. I don't know who. Yo, I'm gonna save one more time though. I don't know what's coming to be honest. Yo, I rather not be jump. <laughs> this is funny. Hey, don't, don't you even know who your real ally is? Don't you? Don't you? Hey, who really made? Hey, who's really made it so you could get this far? Who? Who? Hey, have you? Haven't you been having fun? Haven't you? Haven't you? So like me, he he he. Why else would you keep playing? Uh. Jesus. Okay. Oh Lord, like. Like, just get to the point already. Wait, who is... Wait, is that... Is that Serrera? Half broken. I think I think it's like her half being broken as a model where she used to be and, and half of being, a, of being a mother. All right, there's L. Wait, is it L? Wait, hang on a second. What is that? Hang on, I'm looking really close. I th yeah, dead. That is L. And it is Bennett with with her mother, Luna, and someone else. I can't tell. Is this is that Sephira? No, that's not Sephira. Gossip God of War. God of War. If this is what it's like to die, I don't mind. I'm happy. I was finally able to use my master, and that feeling is my own. My own. No matter how insidiously I feel it, even though the truth, all of my desire for him is just a reflection of his own longing for her, and neither of us could ever realize it. After all, a human marrying a Pokemon? How gouge, unthinkable. These aren't the dark ages anymore. I'm not stupid, just a mess. And even though I put all those thoughts square out of my head, I know they would would all come rushing back to the moment I saw him again. It's, is that just how crushes are? Or is just part of my fate they only have his feelings? I suppose I'll never find out. Not anymore. Um, wait. For now, I would rather like to sleep for a very, very long time. So this God of War is not just your regular God of War. I think this God of War, like, like had feelings, actual feelings for Radimus. But it would never, it would never come true because, you know, like, a, like, in, in terms of the Pokemon world, marrying a Pokemon is taboo. Like, it's, it's severely taboo, so, but I guess she can't get rid of those feelings. Oh! Fuck, man. Holy shit. Yo, that goddamn jump me. Screw you, Tara.
All right, there's a Maria and uh, Titania. It better be this way, but you're not the one who gets to decide that. Wait, what? Wait, is the, is, are these all my decisions that made up to, to this point? What? Oh, oh yeah, this is where. Oh, this is where Blake pushed him, but Blake didn't. But that didn't happen. How much longer do you think we have to stay out here? As long as there's a rope. What? How long is a rope? As long as it needs to be, huh? I was just tired. Stop making excuses. I didn't mean to ruin anything. If you're really tired, then go to sleep. Here in the snow? No, in the luxury down bed we got. Yes, out here. Dad won't be mad after this, right? He will if you keep asking things like that, but I'm so cold. Yes, that's kind of the point. I want to go inside. Stop complaining. It's your fault that we're in this situation in the first place. I'm sorry. No, you're not. I am. You're sounding like him. Better him than you. And we're back in the beginning. <gasps> okay, I just saw Shade now. Yo. Wait, who was that? Is that a heartbeat? Yo, this this game is really becoming scary now. That's Am and uh Victoria. Adrian. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly don't even want to play anymore. Yo, this is this is freaking me out. I honestly don't want to play anymore. Like, let me get out of this segment. What is going on? No, 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 no. This all has to be a night nightmare or a dream. Like, this can't be real. I think this is what the Pulse Hypno is doing. Yo, th this is all confusing to me, to be honest. This is really com Yeah, that's Lin. Yeah. Okay. Enough! How do you do, Andrea? It's been a far few moments since our last visit, has it not? But let's not linger on this. I feel you have derailed here far along to enough. Though I do not fault you for it. This is my home rather than yours. So I will handle this place from here. Please. The way forward is your is your alone. Okay. Unbelievable. What the? Admits everything, look who it is once again. Are you yourself, Andrea? Please don't be alarmed. It is only me. I recognize this is somewhat a fortunate passage for you to return to, so allow me. Ceranimus, perhaps you will remember me better this way. If you would be so kind, please pray no mind to my appearance before. It is. One of my more, shall say, extravagant headpieces. Perhaps I can explain in time, but for now, Miss Volk, Miss Vogelon, have you seen? Not all at loss after all, not for good. Serira, yeah, I see that. But there's too much has been. We aren't doing so well, you see. This requires some damage control. Nurse Red, okay, Red Joy misses, okay. I don't promise to have medical qualifications, dude, but I do promise to help as best as I can. A male nurse joy? Whoever heard of that? Now listen, my dear, we don't discriminate here in the healthcare industry. Besides, no one heard of any of anything until it was invented. So let's not make the too quick and this man's the new de developments. The new developments has dismiss dismissed himself. I should have known. This is the only way to do things to go. You certainly are choose to believe that if you are happier doing so, but I suspect you are not. Of course I'm not. 
No one would be happy knowing that they'll lose everything sooner or later. At least this way we don't get hurt. I contrary, you are hurt all the all the same. You are only taking that pain now as opposed to later. And with no guarantee when or where that later might arrive, you bear awful uh, a lot of wounds in the meantime. Is that truly worth it? I wonder. And what about you? Aren't you upset over losing her? Over both of them? Of course I am. But for better or worse, I am a veteran when it comes to losing hers. One might say I'm bearing an awful lot of wounds through some me mean times. Another might say it is a very often tell the others the advice we ourselves like to hear. And yet another might say that it is better to focus on those whom we still have. For instance, saving that girl was rather heroic of you. This pity doesn't suit your tri triumph. What triumph? I couldn't stop them, any of them. What broken can't be fixed? Clearly it can't be replaced either. There's no going back. And yet Andrea has come. Who knows if another yet might. But I believe we are uh, being rude to our new arrival. Andrea must be quite confused by now. I will explain. I had been here and there before. Luna informed me that she has been contacted. She told me that a friend had summoned her to this place. I thought it was curious, so I offered her to escort her. That's how we came to be here. Well, how is it? It's an adventure. Okay. Alright, now you're being the ad. Uh, okay. An elevator with a cut cable frosted and sprinkle of glass all over. I believe I'll wait for the supper. Indeed, one would need to be mad climb down there through this. So I take it you're going immediately? I just might. God of War? Luna, two? What are you doing here? How do you do, mother? And that means that person must be... Based on the strange hat, Randomus, Randomus and Vahana to be uh, the person. My hat resents your words, but I, on the other hand, I'm honored to make your acquaintance. I have heard much about you, madam. Likewise. Luna, dear, are you unwell? Are you crying? I, I am perfectly fine. There is no need to worry about me. I am just very happy. I'm happy to have you both back. Right. So, Miss Vokalin, what brings you to these remote parts? Parenting. Well, it seems that you have come to the right place. I didn't mean... I suppose so. And now we finally have the whole family together. What a wonderful but shocking turn of events. Miss Vogler, I will be right in the clan that... Uh, deducing that this... Forget it! God of War was the one who directed you to this place. What? What preposterous? You would. The slander. God of War, you were the one who arranged this rendezvous. Why the audacity to imply such a thing? I could have faint on this very spot. God of War. La 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 la, fainting over here. Thank you. Truly. Madam, I need you to find my son. And should he be here, we shall. Do not think the wise to go together. I know better than the count on others to staying. Mother? And even if it, it be unwise, do you think it's kind? Fine, I understand. I will go with you all. Fantastic. I, Serena, join the party. Although I do not wish to be an inconvenience, I very much appreciate it. What I've gotten to myself into now? Something messy. Something wonderful. At least I take me out to dinner before that. Though I suppose you might have a certain amount of charm. We're not... We're, we're if not for that goofy hat. Now you listen here. I may have set you two up, but don't forget that Master belongs to me. Madam, I assure you, we're not... Or we're not for the goofy hats. I would have nothing at all. You don't say. Then I suppose you've gotten to step over me after all. Mother, please do not say things like that now. I know very well how much the loss you felt throughout your life, but unless it had to somehow be changed, there is no use in latimating that which cannot cannot have in favor of appreciating that which we, ha we can. Aren't we losing sight of the situation here? We're only working together. It's not like we're all about to be a happy little family forever or something. That might depend on, on whoever you ask. And speaking of working together, just exactly what you all doing up here. Parenting. I have receiving a summons to this place from my dear friend. Shade! Of course, I simply have to answer it. We were just assessing the viability of this glass pit of death you see before as, as an entrance. Glass pit of death? Sounds like it's about it's about my speed. There's, That's not even a glass down, down there. There's ice too. Goodness, you can tell from just a height? Oh please, who do you think I am? More importantly, it hasn't melt yet. Whatever happened here happened late recently. The plot thickens. It seems that we're gonna even less alone than we thought. If we may have some service to whomever is responsible for this, let us make haste. I am sure of no less destructively, destructively create entrance. Then let's scout out and find out. Right. 
We can do it, or my name isn't Ash Ketchum, okay. Who? But Master, your name isn't Ash Ketchum, and even that can't stop us. Come on, let's be off. And for this, for open, uh, we opened the use in this building nearby, and so we made it to way through the factory with little difficulty. I presume thanks in part to you, Andrea. As soon as we arrive in this room where we saw... Uh, you know what, what it's time for? Lights, cameras, and drama. Quickly, give them to Vokorona. Andrea, head over this... Wait. Hand it over the sapphire bracelet. Andrea, we should have guessed it was you. Excellent work, Volcarona. Thank you. I suspect that is not quite the Andrea we know. Bennett! Oh, poor mother? Why did you come here too? For you, obvious. Your hair. It looks better. I'm aware, mother. Thank you. Now please go. I do not wish for you to drag into this. You should have thought of that before you went and joined up with the terrorist organization. Firstly, they're, they're more of a religious organization than a terrorist one. Secondly, I don't approve of everything they do. I'm just doing a few jobs for them until I get paid my dues. You'll be paying your dues for a while, yet we're out out of here. Come on, or you're grounded for the next 45 years. Make it 50. I'm not coming home. You can't treat me like a child forever, mother. Zero, what are the lights doing? It's just a monetary dip of the power. Um, I don't think it's anything to worry about. You may not be a child, but your actions are truly becoming an adult. My actions? I'm... Sorry, I cannot for a second take you seriously with that ridiculous mask on. I told them it was awful. Not all hats are created equal, but it doesn't mean they deserve any less respect. Mother, how do you manage to make everything new... Make every new boyfriend weirder than the last one? Don't get the wrong idea here. Besides, you should already know that Master is volitionally taken. Do you even have to phrase it like that? It's been a while, God of War. Not a long enough, if you ask me. I don't fault you for feeling that way. Please understand that I am no longer the same person you once knew. I would much rather everyone let the past go, but I understand that won't be possible. Especially for you, Luna. I beg your pardon? I offer my sincerest apology for how I acted before, but you need not to accept them. There won't be little more point in doing so anyway. I disrespect you by treating you as an object before a person. There is no excuse for this. Zero. Is the pulse using too much power or something? The energy reading appears to be within acceptable levels. The stupid thing just keeps power cycling for some reason. But um, it doesn't seem to have interrupt this hypnosis, so please don't worry. We'll continue to analyze it. So don't hesitate uh, if you want us to use Andrea to grind them into dust. Randomus, that man seems mildly unwell. Zero, uh, zero, we only need to subdue them. Do not anything drastic. Subdue them, huh? Okay, Andrea, would you be so kind? Zero, that's not... So that's how it is. You have Andrea hypno hypnotized. And that hideous pulse back there is the source. Then there is only way we, we must do, is it there not? We must defeat Andrea in order to free her. They were wise to seize Andrea as a defensive line, given that she has best all of us at some point. But not all of us uh, together. Wait, Master, was there something you wish, wish to do? Was there not? Please allow me to begin. Luna, you... Please be silent. You have call you have claimed to change and you have chosen your side. If you are in general and you prior to a certain then do what it is you set out to do for yourself. But you mean that if if I truly respect you as a person, I need to not take pity or on spare as you as an enemy? It was never my intention for it to come to this, but so be it. I will cut the ties myself. Andrea, defeat Luna. <laughs> So this is it. But this was the only nature outcome. There is no standing up to us anymore. With Andrea- Oh! Okay, now I completely get it. We were hypnotized the entire time. Luna, Ranimus, and Sirira were just trying to help us. To, to add it in that. But because we played too serious against their minds, we- we thrashed them completely. But then again, I used revives and such like that. So I didn't like this and that. So we were the enemy the entire time. While we try to stop them from helping us. That's a good plot twist. I'm not going to lie. With Andriana said, we might be able to be invisible. Are you so sure of that? 
After all, my only role here is to soften Andrea enough for my parents to overcome. We will triumph as a fam- Oh, that's not- that was a word. Triumph as a family. If you will. Don't worry, dear Luna. Even though Andrea, there's no way we'll lose to these creeps. Right, Master? I suppose it is our turn after all. Miss Vokla, may I have the honor of this battle? Last time a man asked me that, he left the arena crying. That's a risk I'm interested in taking it right now. Now let's hope you can satisfy. Seriously, Mother? I'm going to be sick here. And this situation is stacked. Andrea, use these. Bennett tossed Andrea the full restores. And Zero, please actually do something already. That's your cue, Andrea. Go get them. He didn't toss me four restores! He didn't even t My Pokemon were dead! Just what the trainer is made of. Provide as I suspected. I see, so in the end, it still hasn't been enough. Andrea performs even better than I expected. Perhaps I underestimate that woman. And it's all thanks to my pulse. Zero, do not forget that it was the one who did the work. But that's okay if you helped a lot too. And just what part of this are you proud of? None of this was necessary. You could have just put them to sleep from the start. Well, this was so helpful to test. Don't speak. The only thing that's been tested is your willingness to indulge. I'm sorry, I don't understand. you just been enjoying uh, puppetting Andrea around as, as an outlet for your frustrations with them. That's... Nothing is gained by battling them now when we just have to put them to rest anyway. But you said... I said that to actually do something, not to waste time and jeopardize the pulse security in a one versus two scenario. I will, t I will take responsibility for the battle with Luna, but this fight serves no other purpose than your stroke of your own ego. I just wanted to make sure Andrew was fully under control. You wanted to feel that control. I assume because you lack autonomy over your own body for so long. Am I wrong? And I read your file. You were just a grunt before joining with, with those girls, correct? Not an efficient one either. They were your only chance to stand out, which is why you cling to them, even now. The kind of behavior you demonstrate today uh, exemplifies your incompleteness. You let your emotions get in the way out of, out of your outcome. Until you learn to set ambitions aside and truly focus on yourself and your goals, you will never change. Did that missionary teach you that? No, mother. That man has done a little more for me than placed me in footsteps of my feet and are not fulfill, not the fit to fill. Even now, I understand that I cannot hopefully fill, fully live up to the title of Elite Four. In realizing this, I learned to step back and take a take a more thing serious approach to self improvement. I believe for the results should have been speak for themselves. The results don't speak louder than you're still sitting on the wrong side of the coin. Is it wrong to return one's depths? The end of a means does not make a meaning to the end. Are you sure you're not running from your own choices? Zero, this has dragged on for far too long already. If you truly want to make yourself useful, put them all to sleep already so we can move on. Got it. You're allowed to be out of, uh, out of our way for good now. You won't. God of War? You're already injured from that fight. There's no need to push yourself further. They would put Master to sleep. Toss him aside and never let him wake up again. Maybe dispose of him outright after what he did. I'll... I'll never forget... What? I'll never... F uh, I will never ever let that happen. What is she doing? As long as you are fiercely loyal to their trainers, it is said that they will do anything for their power to protect their trainer, even if it costs their own life. God of War? Don't try to stop me. This is what I need to do. For you. Rather than doing something dramatic, I thought I know you are such a fan of that. Let have fate in the world and our other companions. Who is left? Who can stop Andrea? Who... Who won't just be put to sleep? God of War, please. No, this is the only way. I'll destroy that machine altogether. This is my purpose. This is not your... Yes, it is. To make sure you all live on. And all those years ago. This is what she asked me to do. She? No harm will come to your master, God of War. You have my word. You think we can believe you after everything? He will put... He will sleep and nothing more. When this is over, he will awake. I do not wish for you to hurt... To see you hurt either. Liar! After what you have done to Luna and Andrea and what Team Meteor intends to do after all this... Wait, what's going on? The... Whoa, what is going on? Wait. Oh, uh, you want me to uh, allow us now? I'll never believe that. Tick. This energy. In the most in the most dire of circumstances, it is said to God of Ark can use all of its power to go as far as even creating a small black hole. That's right. No matter what pulse may be, I will erase it altogether. Zero. I can set this right. And I will. Let Kane go. Seize her before it's too late. On it. Master. 
Whatever happens, please remember, I will always love you more than she or anyone else could ever. Zero! I got it! Are we too late? Her energy is spiraling out of control. Yo, if this was in 3D and they actually show this, this would actually be really, really intense. Everyone, get out of here. What about Andrea and the others? There's no time. Ah, uh, Brokerona, go away! Whoa. If you ever walk into a class late, then you will know what is it like. Heads turn, eyes peel. You think of a thousand things that they did not, but feel them all the, the same. In that moment, you are the sole star in the sky, and they are trying to help the sleep. Expectation and anxiety are frequently guesses at, at an otherwise unplanned of tea parties. And while there is sugar untouched, the sun is settling far too slowly. Never soon enough will be the time for them to go along their way. They will retire for the evening home to their wives to their children. Children who grow tired. Children who grow up asleep. But still, you must peel their eyes. There comes a time in every child's life where they must lay down their teaspoons. <sighs> Uh, pinch the corners of a fabric and pull them the tablecloth right away. Enough, she says, and I follow the lights out. When there is only one path, there is only one way to go. And when in the darkness, the path cannot be seen at all. Then you are free. For now, the time has come for me to follow my own infinity. Farewell, mother. Farewell, father. Wait, what? Wait, what? It has been like a dream. No, 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 no. Why? Why? Why did you... Control! Control, right? Incompetence! This is always how it is. This is always how it was. Best is not good enough. Best is not good enough. I told you why, Zero. What do we do? What do... What to do? Eve, tell me what we should do. Report back to Labradora. Lin will... Will will want to know what happens. I'll take the braces and finish from here. That's right, that's right. As long as we have the sapphire business, it's okay. She won't be mad, she won't be mad. Will she? Go! Yes! God of War. I'm sorry it has to come to this. Mother, are you alright? Never better. Good. And Luna? Where is Luna? Do you know what happened to Luna? Luna stepped into that black hole on her own. She... Is this the end you hope to achieve? Shut up! I don't want to hear that from someone who couldn't even control his own Pokemon. Then from whom would you prefer to hear it? Is this the only person you listen to? Don't kid me. He and I used to you know, use each other, nothing more. I have no respect for his beliefs or his goals, but you enrack them all the same. With little alternative, but but now that you mention it, I can disappear from here. They will conclude I was lost in the damage. I can break free of this now. What did it cost Luna and God of War? Thank you, Mother. You may have rest assured I will not meddle in this group again. You're still grounded. That's fine. I'm still not coming home. I need to destroy the surveillance footage here. And what about your Kaho? Cool. He will make a report, correct? I'm a fool. I have to stop immediately. Um, excuse me. Oh, you're awake now. I'm glad you're safe. Miss Bellrose, I am deeply sorry for what happened. I've heard that you I heard that these once family belong to you. Please take them. Bennett gave the, the Lord the sapphire places. I don't understand. There's no time, I have to hurry. Make it maybe I can help you? Your confusion is apparent. Listen, it's because of me that that you lost your position as a member of the Elite Four. Elias created a false notice of terminization and we hypnotized you to handwrite a letter of the reservation. Then I took over your spot. I'm truly sorry for what has happened right, right now. Does that mean I can't help? You are a deeply concerning person. Let me put it more simply. I've been your enemy. There's no reason for you to help me. I think there is. Do, you, do people have to define their flaws and mistakes? Even if we are defined by them, we cannot just ignore them. I will understand that you must have done something bad things, but also I understand that you're going to do your best to change. If I can help any, I would like to. You just sound like her. Ugh. I have two sisters, and they aren't particularly spotless either. Nobody is. Still, I learned that in order to survive, we need to work together no matter what. Fine, do whatever you want. 
there's a somewhat this have man in the back currently going on foot from here to Labrador. Can you catch him? If we can change the weather, my Pokemon should be able to outspeed anyone. I'll do it. Then I'll destroy the security footage here and meet up with you. And I see I can bring in some food. Despite our systems, you must be starving after sleeping for so long. We can work out the details with the Elite Four then. Okay? That sounds wonderful. Theo, let's go quickly. So much for a happy little family. Luna. God of War. Kane. Kane! Everyone's always a Let us not make a bad situation worse by exercising its extremes. She took us out! Unbelievable. And here we are. I don't know what means or madness shade pulled you back into this world, but it appears that you are that you are not yet permitted to quit. If I may be so bold, how was it on your end that you managed to return? Luna herself showed you the way? Luna did? Then then it seems that there's still miracles that the fire are understanding. Will you still hold your wounds close, Miss Vogler? I don't know what to count on anymore. Maybe nothing. Now you're getting it. Let us presume the hope that she will be back one day. After all, you never know who will stroll through the door next. Everyone is going coming, coming at, and coming right back. Andrew, you made it back. Now that I doubt that Nostra or anything. Where did these kids come from? Oh my god, are you are you okay? What happened? I'm, I'm sorry? Those cracks all over your skin, do you... On my skin? Am I getting wrinkles again? No, not wrinkles, cracks! See? All over here and here and... I... Don't? Don't worry about it. She always sees things other people don't. That seems safe. It's not always, jeez. But really, what are you doing here? This isn't a place for children. No, uh If this wasn't a place for children, then why would we be here? That's what I'm asking. We're here for him. Not that it ma not that it made so matter that the poor Hypno couldn't. And then we came to meet him. Hi, cute hat. Have you been crying? Not anymore. You really are just like her. Come here. Wait, don't tell me you're there. What's like everyone didn't see that coming? Yeah, I don't really know how I come to that conclusion. I have just met you and all. Sorry to keep you waiting so long. It's so very well. All right. I'm just happy to see you again. You both go. Is is that their is that their father? It's their father! Anna and Noel. Uh, it's random as. Oh my god! That's super crazy! You were just this tiny. And if anyone should be sorry to keep someone waiting, it's it's me. You both deserve so much more. It's alright. Nostra said this is the only way we could have happened. Or anyway, I don't know how that is. So you still got it. That's a relief. Of course I do. We would never willingly let something go you gave us. And that Clefe too. And his name is Namas. Namas, hello. It's nice to meet you. He says hi. Noel, tell him everything Namas says that's not just for the first part. Noel, did you just say... And if I heard correctly, you go by Anna? Yep, that's us. Shouldn't you already know that? Those aren't the names that your mother chose for you. Painter. Painter. Fantastic. Fantastia. Those are such cool names. She had some flair about her. But when I when I had to let when I had to let you go, I purposely withheld those names so there would be no way they could find you. Who is they? Team Meteor. Will they will you tell us why Team Meteor was after you? It's not a simple story, but I will say as clear as I can. Mistakes are lessons waiting to be learned. And some might say I have been very well educated indeed. Wow, his wait. Noel's name was Painter. And Anna's name was Fantasta. That's actually kind of cool. During one lesson, a certain person helped me understand that particular objects could be very dangerous in that group. It's possession. So I did what I had to do, and I stole the particular objects. In order to disguise their origins, I asked a close friend to uh, fashion each of them into jewelry. Jewelry was a passion of his back then, but he was unprepared for the energy those keys held. And one of them broke in half. He was able to recover it, and he did fantastic 
work with the others, so I gave him one of the finished pieces as thanks. And with the others, I sought out the buyers. In particular, I searched for a strong trainers who will be able to efficiently de defend the pieces should Meteor try to recover them. Caroline, Caroline and Moji were the first. With the two gym leaders together, I felt certain they would be safe. They chose to clear the Master Elder's daughter's name. Next was Mr. Muller. He chose the ring for his engagement. And the last one I entrust to the beauty who showed me to the light, that was your mother. And so I, I renovate myself with a new name, a new personality, and a new history. Andrea, I hope you forgive me for deceiving you. My wealth has never come from my successor as a chess player. It came from the sales of those keys and a few extra digits taken from Meteor's offers. I will always hope that I will be able to fulfill your mother's dreams of living in a castle. That's so cool. I do not define the theory, thievery, but I deserve it was better to use of the money than I could have ever have found it. And for the time, she was happy. I thought it would all. I thought we would all be happy, but it turns that out the happily ever after just means the next story hasn't started yet. Team Meteor learned of what I had done, who I was, and where the keys were, and so it began anew. Your mother was a walking miracle, but for the better or worse, people often outlive their miracles. After the disappearance, I was. I was scared. Above all else, for both of you are satisfied. I didn't want any harm to come to you, so I had to make sure you didn't get mixed up with them. And just look how that turned out. It's okay. I know you I know you were just doing your best. Whenever it was right or not, here. You should have this back. Randomus gave and the Amnes pendant. You had it! I was so sad after it was taken. I was so sad I got sick and almost died of sadness. Why would you give it to her? It was not one of my better plays, perhaps. I was hoping Team Meteor would never find it if it was with you too, but instead it gave them cause to seek you out. Per perhaps sentimentally got the better of me. Whenever, whenever that was right or wrong, no. I mean, why did you give it to her and not me? Why Anna is the one that's always special? Ah, here, you can keep it. No, that's okay. I don't want it. I just wanted you to know, you deserve it more than I do. It's not about deserving or not, just take it. And I can't even hear no mess. I can never could. I shouldn't hold something like that. I know you can't. What? That's okay. You'll you'll under understand eventually. If you ever want to hold the pendant instead, just ask me. Okay. Okay. So why did you give it to Anna? It was your mother's before. I simply thought it would suit her better. But it seems there may be some cause and effect in these similarities after all. Still, I understand it was unfair to you. I hope you can forgive me. Not like it matters. I don't understand any of you. However do you mean? Serene, it's been how many years and you just go on like it's nothing happened? You act like all you knew the whole time that you would meet here. Things were never the way of never being how we would it. But we never knew how it would. All, all we had to do was decide. The future cannot hold a candle to resolution. Considering the numbers like the law of large numbers, it's only illogical that this would happen eventually if we kept looking. Plus, we had a little help. You're unbelievable. What? I can totally be believed. Right, Noel? Sometimes. Noel. But despite being unbelievable, here you are. Then that just means you need to change your beliefs. If if how you see things isn't an accurate reflection of reality, then why keep looking that away? You're the last person who should be saying that. Or first, a reflection of reality, huh? In that case, maybe it's better just to put the, the mirror down. Lest there be no reflection at all. And things, however, works best for you. Smooth does smooth talking runs in the family, doesn't it? They got it from their mother. I don't think that's true. Maybe we maybe we all did. And maybe we all have room to learn from them too. It's a tough to lose the people, but you can't just lean on the people still around you. So depend on us now. Hey now, who's who's the parent here? Oops. But you are of course correct. I only lament that I have to say goodbye to God of War and Luna to say hello to you. Not to mention the other boy. But I'll admit, it could have been much worse given the circumstances. Perhaps the only re the only reason the damage was so minimal was because God of War fought to control herself even though the hypnosis loyal to the very end. That's something I'm not used to. Maybe it's time for you to change that. Um, excuse me? Sorry to interrupt, but... Anna, you did it! You did it! Great job to both of you! Did... Did you open a daycare service while I was while I wasn't looking? Maybe if I was so wasn't looking. Okay, everybody. These are my friends, Lumi and Eve. Uh, wait, what? Lumi? We were caused a lot. 
What? So earlier we released the wait the what? I'm so confused. There's so much dialogue in this. This is literally an hour dialogue. I've been in. It's literally 11 o'clock right now. I'm going to do like a two part of this. Like for the story purposes and for the battle. Because this is so long. Oh my god. I mean, yo. Caused a lot of trouble for you. Please accept my apologies. I believe the man in the black who was here before and had called you out to. That's correct. Impitable. It's kind of a long story, but basically we were stuck together with him for a long time, in the same body. I wouldn't recommend the experience. In the essence, we had to work for Team Media the entire time. I developed the pulse system that have been used to create a nearly insurmountable degree of trouble. Oh, thanks for that. Hey, she didn't do it because she wanted to. I agreed to develop the machines for Team Media only under the conditions that Lumi's physical body wouldn't, would be apprehended, would accurately and preserved. That both of our bodies would be. You don't need to keep putting words aside. I always attended to find a way to restore ourselves to our proper bodies. But working towards that was impossible when we didn't have a privacy of our own thoughts. I'm happy to be back, but I wish we didn't have to lose that poor Magnazone for it. And the, and the full control took a, while, took a little while to get used to again. It was difficult at first, yes. Thank you again for what you did. Totally. And what exactly was that? Noel and I switched places with these girls. Nostra said it would be really important for them to wake up right away. Thanks to that, we were able to help Andrea to reach this place. We hid in we hid in the move through the vents to the invade team meteor and stole our Pokemon back to help Andrea. Thanks for taking good care of Glacian, Andrea. Though what happened at uh, to at the Andrea actually uh, got here could have gone better. Yeah. Um, don't get us don't get us wrong, Andrea. We're not trying to fault you. But we know Zero would try to use Hypno to control you, so we so we try to stop it. We tried to cut the system's power as soon as he used it on you, but unfortunately the power supply had an auto-reboot function. I had an account for this pre-mented, so we were we were all able to do was power cycle the system. We were hoping that if we did enough, we did it enough, maybe it would make enough holes in the control scheme for Andrea to break through. But you saw the results. That's okay, you tried you best you could. I, I feel really bad for Kane. He never even had a chance to act on his own from the time he came here to wish to fell with he fell in the black hole. So is Kane dead? Yeah, but Andrea came back, so maybe he can too. Speaking of coming back, it may be put on us to quit this place before it's too long. Um, would it be alright for us to go with you? We don't really know who else to turn to get away from Team Eater. Are you kidding? Not only you can come with us, you can have too. I see no reason why not. Everyone will be waiting in Saladon City. I have some information about Team Media that will be off of the relevance to you as all well. What what should we do about this one? Hey there, sleepyhead. It's time to wake up. Look at all your friends surrounding you. Hmm? Um, what what happened? Where's Kane? We'll have to explain later. For now we need to get going. Um, by the way, there was that boy sleeping in one of the elevators still. That sounds like a cozy place. We tried to wake him up after all, but Hypno has stopped, but he still wouldn't move. Even Glacia and Heal Bell wouldn't work. He just went back to sleep every time. We'll see what we can do. Should I come? Should worse should come to worse or carry him myself? Do you really get him by yourself all the way to Calcyon? Certainly not, but as long as we have our Pokemon, anything is possible. Don't worry, Daddy. You'll see here again. Not sure says so. Did she now? Then I suppose I have no choice but to believe it. Let us be on our way. Andrew, you're coming too, right? Yes, let me get out of here. Yes, we all go together. Oh my god. That took... That took so forever. Oh! Oh my god, you guys, that took so forever. So much dialogue, so much all of that. Yo, I'm gonna do like a two separate video. Holy crap, that took forever. Legit forever. We learned so much information, but we'll talk about that in the next episode, you guys, because honestly, 
that was that, that that was completely insane so i'm gonna get off right now so thank you guys so much for watching and if you enjoyed what you saw then please leave a like comment and subscribe and as always you guys stay tuned for the next episode this is your boy anzi jam here and he is out of here later